Well, hello there. Please hold. Alexa, stop the music. We don't want a copyright infringement now, do we? I do. I have a beanie on because there has been a hard freeze warning in the area that I live in and it's been a little bit cold. And so here I am in my craft room and I am editing and I was listening to Art of Noise. I like to listen to music while I edit and do work. I am, I'm working on a Sunday. How are you doing today? Come on, come sit with me. Boy, do I have a story to tell you. Are you sitting down? Good. Guess what? You did it. You did it again. You made it through another week. We made it through another week. It was a hard week with Thanksgiving. For some of us, it probably wasn't the Thanksgiving that we've pictured or we've had in the past, our traditional Thanksgiving, but nonetheless, it was Thanksgiving. And guess what? We got through it. Boy, do I have a story to share with you. It is Sunday and I am working. Sundays are not a day off for me. Tomorrow, I've got a dentist appointment and uh, we'll get to that here in a second. But this is where I sit and I edit and uh, right over here is, here I'll show you. Right over here is where I film and then right over here is where I film. Boop. Yep, back to me. And so, um, yeah, I'm in here just trying to get a bit of editing done. Oh, I'm really off center, aren't I? And uh, because I've got three videos that are due this week and very little time to edit. So, um, today I'm editing and truth be told, it is my least favorite part of working on YouTube it is the editing aspect. Sitting here and just working on the computer and editing is, it feels like a chore to me, quite honestly. It, I mean, I guess work does feel like a chore, but it's my least favorite aspect of working on YouTube is the editing portion of what I do and I do everything that I do on YouTube by myself. I am a woman that uh, carries many different hats. And so, um, yeah, not super fun. But I will say hands down that YouTube is by far uh, my passion and it is what I love and I feel uh, very lucky to say that I like what I do for a living. I love what I do for a living and I get to work at home, I get to make my own hours and I'm my own boss and so it's a triple quadruple win. And so back in the day before YouTube, I was a bartender and I did bartending I want to say for about... 12 years and that was such a fun fun job I really really loved being a bartender and I was doing that while I was a single mom raising Ray and Kayla and uh, it was one of those jobs that I loved because it paid well as much as you wanted to work was the ability to make more money and so I am by nature a workaholic and so I worked all the time. I'd go and stand by the time clock on a Friday and wait for somebody to come and clock in and say hey do you want to go home I'll work your shift tonight and they would say okay and I'd clock in and I'd work and you know it was one of those things that if, if, if you were short on money and you needed money to go buy groceries well, I'd pick up a shift and at the end of my shift, I could go buy, stop by Walmart and I could pick up some groceries and I had enough for groceries. And, and it, it was a job that I was, again, very lucky to have. It did what I needed it to do. And then I moved on to my passion here 
on YouTube and my vision. But while I was a bartender with that several, several years ago, gosh, that had to have been 20 years ago, um, the, there wasn't medical insurance like there is now. And dental insurance was like just not a good thing back then and so when I needed to go to the doctor or I needed dental work done I had to pay cash for it and paying cash there was no cash discount there it was more expensive than the contracted amount that the doctor's offices or the dental offices charged the insurance companies that they were contracted with. And so back then, going to the dentist was one of those things that you just kinda, oh gosh, I gotta go to the dentist. This is gonna cost an arm and a leg because we all know that dental procedures are not cheap. And so I had had a tooth that needed a root canal and when I found out how much the root canal was going to cost me cash, I opted just to pay the $250 and have my tooth extracted. Probably not the smartest idea back then because it was a lower tooth, but nonetheless it was a decision I made because I didn't have the money to pay for a root canal. My tooth was only going to get worse, something needed to be done. And so uh, several years later, when um, I ended up with better insurance, I was then able to address the issue, the, the spot where the tooth was missing in my mouth, which is, was here on the bottom, and I opted to have a bridge put in. And so with having a bridge put in, you know that they kind of drill down the tooth in front of it and the tooth in back of it, and they kind of place a crown on each tooth with the bridge of a tooth. And so it kind of uh, affects three teeth when you do that. And so it was what I opted to do. I did it, I loved it, I was super happy because I wasn't missing a tooth anymore and I had a bridge until a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I bit into my tri-tip that was made with peppercorns. And there was a peppercorn that wasn't completely ground up. It wasn't ground up at all. And when I bit into it, it just so happened to bite or be right where my crown was. And when I bit into the peppercorn, it uh, shattered my tooth that was under the crown of the bridge, the, the front tooth that the bridge was holding onto. And I hurt it. And it was uh, a cringing feeling when I hurt it. And instantly I could feel that my bridge was loose and I just thought oh heck you know what did I do and I started to think that maybe just the glue came off of my tooth from the bridge and that I just need to go back and have it um, cemented back on and so um, it was a Saturday so then Sunday comes and um, I wake up and I go to brush my teeth and my whole bridge fell out of my mouth and I was like oh my word I was horrified and so when I look in my mouth to see what's going on I'm not seeing a tooth there I am now seeing where my tooth was once missing that we used the bridge for and the front tooth and when I felt around the area with my tongue I could feel that there was tooth left in my gum so my whole tooth had shattered all the way down to the gum just leaving the roots in my gum <laughs> now I will tell you I don't know anybody that really is, but I'm sure there are people that don't mind going to the dentist, but I cannot stand the dentist. I cannot stand the smells, the sound, everything about it sends my anxiety into overdrive. And I must have gotten that from my mom because my mom, this is a funny story too, my mom hated the dentist so much 
that she went and had all of her teeth extracted and had dentures put in. And she had this done at, I want to say she was in her 50s when she did this. She was fairly young. She was about my age. But she hated the dentist so much and it caused her such anxiety that she had all of her teeth removed and extracted and she had dentures put in. I'm not going to do that. So um, I made the appointment to uh, go to the dentist to address this and when I go in the doctor tells me, okay, I, I can't remove it. You're going to have to go to an oral surgeon. And the oral surgeon comes here twice a month. Okay. So I come back, go to this oral surgeon, and let me just tell you, he was amazing. I didn't feel the shots that he gave me to numb me, and I definitely did not feel him extracting the roots out of my gum. And I was so fearful of this. My hands were sweating, I was shaking, my heart was elevated and racing. I just, oh my goodness, right? I mean, there are people out there that I know you can identify with me. And so now this dentist, this oral surgeon dentist, became my new favorite dentist ever. And I asked him if I could go to him to have any and all work that needed to be done, done with him. And he said yes. And so um, once he did that, he then said we needed to do a bone graft because I have opted to get not one implant, but two implants because the only other option for filling in two spots is um, I guess something that they call a flapper. And um, I've had one and it's not very comfortable. It doesn't feel good to chew on. It doesn't feel secure. It kind of moves around. And so there really is no other option for me. They can't do another bridge because the tooth right here is kind of like a canine tooth that it would need to attach to so it's not a strong enough tooth to hold a bridge of two teeth but then making it four. Oh my goodness. And so, um, yeah, I'm getting two implants and that day I had to have a bone graft done. But because I have been missing a tooth the original missing tooth now for about 25 years I have to have a surgery done tomorrow because it needs a more extensive bone graft put in and so that is what I am having done tomorrow I don't know how long it's gonna take but I do know that I'm probably gonna be fairly numbed up for a few hours and I'm probably not gonna be able to do a voiceover and so there we have it, how I shattered my tooth and what I'm doing about it. I, yeah, story time, right? And that is your come sit with me this Sunday. But how many of you tell me in the comments below um, really just have that fear of the dentist? And I really have to challenge myself and force myself to go because the thing that keeps me going is I just think to myself, okay, self, you're not going to be mom. You're not going to go remove all your teeth and get dent dentures. I have pretty nice teeth. I've put a lot of work and money into them with porcelain fillings and whatnot. So I just need to bite the bullet, grin and bear it, and put my trust in this new amazing oral surgeon and let him do what he does best. And let me tell you, he did amazing. I've never had um, a dentist where I didn't feel what I was feeling or whatever was being done. And so yeah, I'm sure you all have a story like that, but that is how I shattered my tooth by biting into a peppercorn. Anywho, I don't have much for you this week. I just wanted to share with you my story and tell you all that um, I know last week was hard, but I hope um, that it was okay for you. I'm not gonna say I hope it was good. Um, I just hope it was okay because I know that um, Sometimes when the holidays roll around and some of us that are feeling less than, it's kind of hard to say the holidays are good. You know, you try to find the good in them, but it can be hard sometimes when you're feeling less than. And so sometimes some of us are just looking to get through them for a year or two, so that way uh, we can look forward to the brighter and better ones in the future. And uh, I know I, for one, am that way, but for now, I am uh, enjoying the time that uh, I have with Ray and the girls, and 
Uh, Ray is starting a new treatment this week on the 29th. I haven't been able to come on and update you all with this because we did have a bit of a setback and it was just, it's been a bit too hard for me to talk about and I just needed to absorb and come to terms with it and uh, get my footing. But um, I will tell you this much, we definitely need your thoughts, your prayers, your well wishes, your energy, your positive vibes, and your strength because like I said, there has been a setback and uh, we've just been trying to come to terms and get our footing to move on uh, to this the next new treatment that is starting here on the 29th. But um, I will give you my word that I will update you um, when I am feeling able to and I can actually get through the video. But until then, um, I want to leave this on a happy note. I hope that you all have a fantastic week. I know you're going to. You're going to make the most out of it. You're going to stay happy. You're going to stay healthy. But most of all, you are going to dig deep and challenge yourself to stay positive. Can you do that for me? Sure you can. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye for now, everybody.